Right, let's kick off our foundation exercises with example number one. Now example one is a simple movement, but for me it forms one of the most difficult parts of economy picking. It's the inside picking movement. Um, the main reason why I find this difficult, and I'm sure a lot of you guys out there will concur with me on this, is that with an inside movement you're having to stop the direction with which your hand is traveling in order to change direction. Now that hampers speed quite a bit. Um, but you can develop your technique, this particular technique, the inside picking uh, movement, uh, by using planting technique. So that's what I tend to use. Anyway, this is example number one. Left hand, uh, you don't have to worry about that. You can actually use any notes that you want. You can use open strings, but for this example, we're gonna use 15 of the B and 17 of the top E. So, nice and slowly, we're gonna go up, down, up, down, and repeat. Okay, I find it beneficial with this exercise to apply planting technique. So, um, starting with an up, you'll immediately go and rest the pick ready to do the down. And then you'll play the downstroke, followed by an up preparation, and so on. I would keep that really, really slow as well, making sure you get the movement exactly right. So economy of movement is what we're after here. So no wasted movement, no big unnecessary movements with the left with the right hand. And then you can speed it up. Um, but don't worry about speed with this one. The most important thing is control. Okay, so let me play it for an extended period of time for you so you can play along. Speed up a bit. Okay, there we have exercise number one. Right, on to exercise number two now. Exercise number two is essentially the same inside picking movement, but what we're gonna do is add an extra upstroke on the top E string. So we're gonna get this pattern. We'll, we'll keep the same notes with the left hand just to make it easier. So that was exercise one. We're gonna add to turn the pattern around. Like so. Up, down, up. Then we're going to play an upstroke on the um, the B string. Okay. So again, I would do this really slowly. It's about control this. You know, try and resist the temptation to speed up um, too early on. And also make sure when you're doing that, the economic movement, in other words, crossing strings with the same stroke, up, down, up, up. Make sure you let the pick fall through the strings and come to rest on the adjacent string. Okay, really, really useful example that. Okay, example number three continues where number two left off. Um, what we're gonna do is add an extra stroke in there so that we can actually loop this whole example. 
Um, so the previous pattern was up, down, up. So up on the B, down on the top E, followed by another up stroke on the top E. And this time what we're going to do is add an extra up stroke on the B string. Okay, again, a really, really useful pattern, this. But again, if you want to stay in control of this, you've got to keep the right hand nice and relaxed. And make sure the pick falls through the strings. Okay, really, really essential that you get that right hand nice and relaxed when you're playing this example. Well, it's the same for all examples, but... Okay, so that is example number three. Right, we're ready for example four now. Um, this is slightly different to the previous examples. Um, what we're going to be using is, uh, in this case, it's just an A minor arpeggio on the top E, B and G strings. And the picking pattern is going to be as follows. We're going to play a down stroke on the top E, followed by two up strokes. Okay, so when we look at the string cross from the top E to the B string, we're getting inside movement. Remember that first example? Um, and then that's followed by another upstroke. So we have economic movement there. Okay, so that forms our pattern. So nice and slowly with example four. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up. Again, apply planting technique, um, which will help you with the economy of movement. Okay, uh, you may have noticed in some of these examples I like to use the thumb joint a little bit. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but I find that I can cover small um, sort of seg sweeping segments like this example much easier if I bend the, th the thumb rather than using whole wrist movement but you can experiment with with both okay really really useful technique this one I use it all the time especially when I get descending arpeggio patterns like that loads of different applications of this particular pattern. Um, it's also worth practicing um, with a little bit more dynamic range. So rather than just softly, I quite like really digging into the strings. But we're gonna cover a whole load of dynamic playing in um, part two of economy picking, which we'll get to another time. Okay, so that's example number four. Let's move on to example number five. Okay, example number five now. Um, all we're gonna do is take example number four and just add an extra note in there to turn the pattern around. So example number four was um, a three note pattern, down, up, up. What we're going to do is add an extra stroke in there. So we are going to add an extra... Oh, I beg your pardon. What we're going to do is we're going to add an extra stroke on the top E string. So we're going to go down... Instead of down, up, up, we're going to go down, up, up, up. Okay. 
Really useful pattern again, this one, I use it a lot. Um, let's do that for you nice and slowly. So we have down, up, 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 and again, down, up, up, up. faster. Excellent stuff. Okay, we're on to example number six now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take an F major seven arpeggio with the left hand. So we're gonna go frets 12, 13, 14, and 15 of the E, B, G, and D strings to get this shape. Okay, picking wise, what we're gonna do is a down stroke followed by three up strokes. So nice and slowly, down, up, up, up. Okay, and then we just repeat. Down, up, up, up. Now this is made really awkward by that inside movement on the first two strings, the E and the B. Here. So that needs specific practice with this. And of course, when you cycle the whole thing, you've got your final stroke on the D string, which is an up stroke, and then a down stroke on the top E. So you've got a horrible inside movement across a huge um, distance. We've got to skip two strings in the middle here. And do inside picking, which is nasty. So that needs um, practice, and I would advise you to practice planting technique with this. It just makes it a lot easier. So, down, up, 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 down, up, up, up. Okay, then you can speed it up a bit. Excellent, that's example six. Okay, let's move on to example number seven now. We're gonna take um, part of that F major seven. Well, it's just an A minor arpeggio on the top three strings. So this shape with the left hand, fret 12, 13, and 14 on the E, B, and G strings. And picking wise, we're gonna do this. So up, down, down. And again, up, down, down. Again, we've got that nasty inside movement. Um, and again, we've got a down stroke followed by an up stroke to um, cycle the movement. So that needs specific practice as well. So there's lots of stuff in these examples, these exercises that's gonna really, really challenge your right hand. So I suggest you keep the tempo nice and steady when you practice these. So let's do that again. So up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down. You can practice these as well without continuous rhythmic values. Uh, just add a rest in there. Um, oops. Helps you to get the control a bit more and the whole movement. Okay.
Okay, we're on to example number eight now. What we're gonna do is the same as before, but we're just gonna add a downstroke in. So we're gonna go up, down, down, down. So we're still using the A minor seven arpeggio. Instead of the inside movement, we're converting it into economic movement. Up, down, down, down. Up, down, down, down. Makes it a bit easier. Of course, you've got to work, still work on that, in, that nasty inside movement. Again, planting is going to really help you with this. Okay, let's move on. Okay, we're at example number nine now. And this, once you get it started, uh, can be looped really, really simply because we've got uh, economic movement here, apart from the first two notes, which I'll explain in a second. But when you loop this, um, you can get a lot of speed going with it because of that economy of um, economic movement. So I'll show you what I mean. For the first part of it, I've decided to keep it as a down and an upstroke so that you have to continue to work on that really awkward inside movement. So we're gonna go like this, same thing as before, E, uh, beg your pardon, A minor arpeggio. And we're gonna go down, up, up, down, 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 okay? Let me do that again for you. Down, up, up, down, down, down. Then we just repeat. So down, up, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, down, down. So it's just the first part that's going to uh, be the real challenge here. Okay, the rest of it, because it's economic movement, it's a ton easier, but you've still got to keep nice and relaxed. And again, make sure you practice this with planting. Okay. Very, very cool. Okay, example number 10 now. It takes up where example number nine left off, but we're gonna add an extra note in there. So instead of just the A minor arpeggio, we're gonna play our F major seven across the four strings. So fret 12, 13, 14, 15 of the E, B, G, and D strings. So same as before, start with the down stroke, followed by an up stroke, up, and then, up. and then we're going to switch the pattern round by down, 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 down. So, and again, down, up, 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 down, 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 down. Once you've started the pattern, then you can just sweep it. Keep it nice and steady. So make sure you get um, a nice fluid movement uh, and then you can start speeding it up. Okay, uh, I like to practice this with a little bit of dynamic control as well. So I start off soft, and dig in. Um, we're going to get into more dynamic playing in uh, e Economy Picking Part 2, um, so stay tuned for that. Okay, let's move on to the next example.
Okay, we are now on to example number 11. We're going to take our little A minor arpeggio fragment here. So same thing as pro uh, we did previously. So 12, 13, 14 of the E, B and G strings. In this case, we're going to be playing the following picking pattern. We're going to go down, up, up, down. Okay, and again, down, up, up, down. Down, up, up, down. Okay. Um, what we have when we loop the pattern is essentially the last stroke that we play in this pattern is a down stroke. And then we go on to play another down stroke. So we have economic movement when we, when we loop the pattern, but we have string skipping. And that might cause a few issues because we're used to, when we're playing with economic movement, letting the pick fall to the adjacent string. So it might take a little bit of practice to try and avoid uh, the B string, which we don't want to play. So here's our pattern again, nice and slowly. Down, up, up, down. Okay, so it's a really, really useful pattern. And again, I would practice that with a break in between so you don't have to continuously loop it. That's just playing the first note of the next pattern as well, so you work on that movement, the two downstrokes. So you can play that in a variety of different ways, of course. Be creative, that's the main thing. Okay, let's move on. Okay, pattern 12 is more of a scalar pattern. Uh, and we're gonna play fret 17, uh, beg your pardon, 19, 17, and 15 on the top E, starting with an upstroke. So we have alternate picking on the top string. Up, down, up. And then we're going to play another upstroke on the B string, so we have economic movement. So, nice and slowly. Up, down, up, up. Up, down, up, up. Okay, this is going to be really hard to play um, in a looping manner as we've done with some of the other ones, because we've got two upstrokes in a row. That's going to prove to be quite difficult to get the speed consistent. So it's, again, it's worthwhile just doing uh, speed bursts. Make sure you just got the movement right. Make sure you let the pick fall through the strings. So up, down, up, up. Good. Okay, we're on to pattern 13 now. And we're going to do another scalar pattern. This time it's ascending on the same fret. So we're going to go down, up, down, down. So our string cross is going to be economic movement, so two down strokes. Down, up, down, 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 up, down, down. And then again, do speed bursts. Because again, we've got two downstrokes in a row. It's going to be pretty awkward uh, if you're going to want if you want to loop it. And again, I mean, with this kind of thing, move it around. If that gets a bit boring, sounds a bit like the Adams family. Hey, <laughs> you know, do anything with it with scales. 
you know, be creative with these ideas. That's what um, I suggest you do because lots of different ideas can come from these. Uh, so of, of course they're here for a technical reason, but you know, be as creative as you possibly can be with these. You never know where they'll lead you. Okay, let's move on. Okay, we are now on to exercise 14. We're going to continue with the scalic kind of theme, the scalar um, pattern. And um, we're going to do this pattern. Um, but we're going to do it with an upstroke to start with. So we're going to go up, down, up, down. Um, this is actually, you'd find this kind of pattern um, in alternate picked passages because there's no um, economic movement involved in this, but we have inside movement, so it's a pattern that I feel that you should be comfortable with. Um, so we go up, down, up, down. So again, I would probably do it in speed bursts. Making sure you get that section, the inside movement section, down. And again, you know, move it around with scales and such. use it with planting. Um, so really, really useful thing to practice that. Okay, we are now on to our final example, example number 15. Um, this particular pattern is a sequence, it's a sequence that I've been using for a number of years now, but it's literally just on the top B and E strings. I tend to use this pattern to warm up um, and it's really, really effective to get my picking hand um, up to speed in a short amount of time. Uh, it contains a variety of different movements, well I say variety, it's mainly inside and e economic movement. Um, as are all of the economy exercises. Um, but this specific sequence has really helped me um, control my technique. So I've kind of saved the most effective one till last. Well, certainly the most effective one for me. So I'll show you exactly what that is. It goes like this. And we're gonna start it with the downstroke. Okay, so we're going to start it with a down, and it's groups of four. Down, up, down, down, so we get economic movement. Then we're going to do inside movement to return back to the B string. So it goes up, down, then that's followed by a down to cross back to the E. So we have down, up, down, down, up, down, down. The next note is up stroke, so we can continue with the, the movement on the B string. Another up stroke, and then we get a down, up, down on the top string. So it's down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down. Okay. I also do that. Then you can add the last part. So again, keep keep it steady, making sure you get all all the movements as smooth as you possibly can. Keep the right hand nice and relaxed.
Excellent, that's all of our foundation exercises done. Good stuff.